Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana has reached the support area, the um, upper support area that I talked about in the last video. It's defined between $169.61 and $183.34. And the additional support levels in here are $179.22 and $175.19. There is additional structural support, most likely here in this region where the price also found support around $180.30 and there's a potential for a head and shoulders pattern to form here possibly okay so obviously we've got two counts here both need to be considered I'm just telling you what I observe um, in this yellow count obviously ideally we're holding $169.60 but I can tell you that there is a potential here for a whoops for a head and shoulders pattern left shoulder the head yeah, and if now a right shoulder forms, then this could lead to a breakdown possibly in the white count. But I don't use these patterns a lot. You know, it's just something to mention because not too much is going on in the market. Yep, a bit of red today, but support levels are still holding here. At least in the Solana chart, you know, and most coins are currently on their way in their relevant C waves. The question is, does Solana also work on a C wave in the white count? Or is it actually the yellow count in which we're dealing with the B wave? I think both are really equally likely. For me, it's more like as long as we're holding above the upper support, I prefer the direct pathway because we're holding above support. There's no reason for me to assume it will break and things like that. You know, That's what I often see that people get scared and they leave a trade because they think support will break and then it does turn around just before breaking. So, you know... Um, I don't know what what the future will bring you know you need a crystal ball for but from a from a potential point of view as i said to you i'm i'm tracking both counts here on the micro level they are both bullish and i'm leaning towards further upside either from here from the support uh, region from the upper support region which was now reached again and if not there then from the lower support region i would really only have to change my chart or opinion with a break below $131, even though, of course, the, the bullishness in this chart will reduce, possibly, if there is already a break below $169.60. But it's only micro support. It's not a substantial top. It would only mean that, okay, we're probably still working on this wave 4, which, to be fair, wouldn't be a problem, given that the wave 2 here also took quite a while to play out. And the wave 4, yeah, it's a bit longer now, but... It's, it's a so, sort of similar time span, whereas the wave 4 in the yellow count that I track as completed on the 20th of March was extremely shallow. Now, knowing that, I mean, Solana has produced quite a lot of shallow wave 4s in recent months, so it wouldn't be unusual. Therefore, I, I simply track support, okay, and we can discuss about micro counts all day. But what is more important, and that's very straightforward, uh, very very easy to see on the chart, these two support areas. The upper support area I mentioned, the lower one as well. And the yellow count suggests that this is now a B wave pullback. So let's zoom in a bit. It looks corrective on the way down. So we might be dealing here with a WXY pattern possibly in wave B. So let me just bring that onto the chart because what's the WXY? Well, it's a combination of two ABC structures Just changing uh, wave degrees here. And so here we have a small ABC in wave W, a small ABC in wave X, and then possibly this was the A, maybe this was a B, and we're now working on the C wave in wave Y. You know, that's just obviously not so reliable. But if this is the case, then we'd be targeting probably this white box. Yeah, probably not not even necessarily the lower end. And if we do, okay, you know, $167.80 is sort of the last reliable support, which is sort of just below the orange box anyway. This is more like targets measured based on the internals of a wave structure. Whereas this is just the retracement area, but because we because the seventy eight point six fib level is not a you know it's not 
an invalidation point, it would be acceptable if it needs to if it needs to reach one hundred sixty seven dollars and eighty. That's that's fine. That's also where the previous swing low is sitting here, the Friday, the twenty second of March low. So that's sort of what I'm tracking. Yeah, it comes down quite rapidly, but that is not necessarily a problem, as you can see here. Came down, but still rallied to a new high, local high. But yeah, as soon as this B wave is finished in the yellow count, a C wave can take us to yeah two hundred twenty five dollars plus probably more like 237 or, 100, or 270, which is actually the all-time high. That's my update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.